YouTube, it's Nick with Feeding Fitness. I'm heading home from vacation, so I thought I'd use this opportunity to make a couple of videos. Um, the first one I'm gonna talk about actually has to do with vacation. Um, this is about water retention while on vacation. Um, and this can be kind of an important subject. So, let's say you're going on a beach vacation. You've spent the last three or four months cutting weight, <clears throat> so you've got that perfect six pack, you wanna look good at the beach. Well, you have to remember that given enough water retention, it'll make it look like you gained a shitload of fat. So basically what I'm getting at, when I go on vacation, I don't know about you guys, but I really don't pay attention to my diet. I don't track macronutrients. I don't, I don't do any of that stuff. I'm on vacation, I'm trying to relax. <clears throat> but what you do want to consider is that if you have a, a supremely high sodium meal, for instance, if you go to an all-you-can-eat seafood buffet and you're in Maryland, so literally everything is doused in so much Old Bay seasoning that you don't even know what to do, you are going to retain a ton of water. Um, the difference between what I looked like shirtless before I had this meal and after is striking. It's almost like it took me a full month back in my cut. And it's obviously not fat. You couldn't possibly gain that much fat in one meal to ruin your look. But water retention, given enough of it, especially if you're already six pack lean, it's gonna be so much more noticeable. So I guess my point is, save your meals that are gonna be just insanely high sodium for the end of your vacation. I did it the last day I was going to be on the beach. So I was done with the beach, then that night I had this, you know, all you can eat seafood restaurant meal, which was delicious, it was great, but the amount of water it caused me to retain was almost shocking. Now, of course, over the next couple of days, uh, water will get released and, and it's not a big deal, um, but say you screw up and you do that meal the first day you're on vacation or you're gonna be on a seven day beach vacation and, and you're not gonna put things off enough and you, you start to retain some water. Well, there's not a whole lot you can do. I'm not a big fan of taking diuretics to look good. Um, diuretics are really medicine for people who have health problems related to water retention, you shouldn't be taking those to look good. Um, there's side effects, it's, it's not, it's not good. I know they make over-the-counter diuretics, I question how well those even work. Um, the biggest thing you can do, and it may seem counterintuitive, is chug water. Take as much water in as possible. Um, and you might think, well, you're retaining water, why am I putting more water in me? Well, the amount of water you take in is gonna help your body release that sodium and as your body releases sodium water will follow it so um, I would definitely advise you drink lots of water it's gonna be the best thing you can do um, and for me it helps to sometimes sweat it out if you but again you need to be replenishing lots and lots of water we're trying to get sodium out not so much water water will follow sodium so um, just drink 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 and if you are the kind of person who likes to work out on vacation, I'd recommend you do it. I uh, do my lifting workouts on vacation. I don't do um, straight cardio on vacation because I end up doing cardio anyways. Uh, but that's just a, a good little tip for you guys with water retention and vacation. If you really want to look your best at the beach and that's more important to you than anything else, save those high sodium meals for the end of your vacation because uh, it can really wreak havoc on your physique. So um, that's all I have to say about that topic. Please give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, like, favorite, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time.